Hello guys, welcome back to more Eternal. Um, looks like we have a new quest with that deck that we opened in a chest after finishing the gauntlet to win five games with this with that deck. Or I guess it just has to be a Fire Shadow deck, it doesn't necessarily have to be that one. So we might try that. Uh, I'm thinking... Thinking we just want to focus on finishing our placement matches, right? Because I think we had to play five games, we played two last round. So let's just keep playing our deck for now, for two more, or for the rest of our placement matches. Let's see if we can get three quick games in this video, see where our rank ends up. And then maybe next video we'll build a new deck that is um, Shadow and Fire. Um, or at least take a look at the pre-made one they gave us, the themed one, and we can try to, uh, this hand is fine. Uh, and we could try and, you know, upgrade it a little bit if we want to. And then we can maybe do a gauntlet run with that, because I don't think it's specified that we have to have PvP wins necessarily. Alright. See what our opponent's up to. Looks like they're green. Green and white. They got Basher, it seems like a pretty good card. We are just gonna drop our 2 2. Not much to do here. Next turn, we're probably just gonna stun whatever their biggest guy is. You play an additional power card each turn. Oh wow, some combos. No blocks. Not a bad draw. So we'll start with that. And might as well just get in there. I don't mind this trade. We don't really have any five power guys aside from this one. And that's far enough away that I'm not too worried about losing this guy. Because if we're not casting anything big until we get to this guy, then we're going to have a rough time either way. Summon, draw a sigil, okay. It's just some mana fixing. Draw a copy of a unit in your hand. The copy has plus one, plus one. Let's attack. Play that guy and we'll stun. Not sure when we'll use this yet. I don't really want to be hopping this guy. So this will be able to hit me next turn, which is fine. Oh wow, this plus one is permanent. Yeah, that's interesting. That's kind of scary, actually. Attack with both of these. This guy's going to be able to attack me again next turn, but I'm not too scared of it. Looks like he's got nothing. So we'll drop this guy, drop another sigil, and we'll pass. Yeah, if at any point he kills this fairy, we're going to have a rough time though. No, we don't have an answer to that either at the moment, so... Oh, that's a good draw. Can't copy it, unfortunately, and then still play it. Oh well. I think it's more important that we stun this and get in for some damages. So you can double block this guy if he wants. I don't really mind that trade. I'm assuming that Levitate will work much like it does in Magic, where if he declares it as blocking and then I give it flying, the blocking is already done, so it's not like it's going to remove him from blocking. Oh, well, that's good. Jeez. Some good spells over there. So 
so we got nothing. Hmm. That is not really productive. I can just attack with this. And turn, and we're gonna have to figure out how we wanna block you. Cause our opponent's got some big dudes in play. So he wants to keep a blocker, clearly. I could double block any of the 5-5s. Five Seems fine. And we take 10. I don't mind just chump blocking with him either. Alright. I'm actually going to do this just to draw an extra card. Not exciting. Not terrible though. So I'll copy that. We could play one, stun one of the five fives, and attack for one. I think if he attacks with everything here, we might just be dead, though. What you got? So long as it's an option, I'm just gonna double block. So that can kill that. Double block here and take eight. Not ideal, but it's gonna have to do. Don't even know what I wanna draw at this point. We are in rough shape. Time Sigil is not the worst, I guess. Means next turn we're gonna be able to play this guy. It's not anything crazy good either. Just on the 5-5, five, five, get in for one again, cause whatever. Two, three. Ooh, I think we're just dead to that. Um, block, block, block. Hmm. Let's see what we draw. That is not going to do it. Good game. Might as well just attack with all the things, buddy. Either way, he'd get his 12 12 back here. Good game. Defeat. Alright, that's a third placement match. Uh, we got time for one more this game, or this video, so let's hop back into the queue and see what we can find. Man, that was uh, a beating. I don't even know what he did to get all those 5-5s five out so quick. Couldn't even tell. 
And our deck doesn't answer them too well either. Uh, this hand is okay. Not great, but it's okay. I would like to have one more sigil, but hopefully it's enough. Ooh, this person's silver. The other guy we saw was bronze, and then we saw... The first guy we saw was bronze three, and uh, then we saw two unranked guys. Well, that's a rough draw. At least we got this guy, so we get to hit our sigil this turn, but if we miss our sigil next turn, we can be in rough shape. Flying, charge, infiltrate. Oh, he just conceded. Win four games. <laughs> Win a game in four turns or less. We got an achievement because he just conceded there. Alright. Well, I guess that means we'll get to do our fifth placement match in this video still, so that's good. Strangers of plus one, plus one. Okay. Alright, let's hop in. Get that fifth match done. Caleb is a headstrong warrior with little interest in politics whose unknown parentage has revoked his claim to the throne. Interesting. I don't know anything about the lore for this game. I don't even know there was lore for the game. I guess it kind of makes sense. Most of these games have stuff like that going on. Alright. Ooh. Past the 20 minute time. Or 20 second time. 20 minute cues would be rough. Alright, we are in. Autonomaton. Autonomaton, okay. I don't think that's how that word's supposed to work. Uh, we don't have any white, so we gotta redraw. Still don't have any white, but we can go get white, so it'll have to do. And we got one drop, two drop, three drop, which is nice. Oh, our opponent. Oh, no, that's us. Good, good, good. Sigil, we'll get a time one. And we'll end the turn. So we should be able to curve out nicely here. Oh my gosh, another one. That is really lucky. And now they'll all be cheaper. So it looks like turn four we're going to have nothing to do. But we should be good aside from that. He throws five things in his graveyard. Okay, so it's one of those decks. That's a little bit scary. I don't know how a reanimation style deck will work out in this game. I think I'm gonna hold on to the ice sprite and save it for whatever he reanimates. If he gets something big into play. I don't even really know what the reanimation spells are. This guy's silver three as well, by the way. Just don't really know what that means, but I'll point it out. I'm assuming it goes you know, brown, silver, gold, etc. Echo, draw a card, then discard a card. Right. Well, this deck seems pretty good at filling up its graveyard. It really depends what it does with it, though. I discarded his copy of it, which means his hand's probably pretty good. He's not doing anything else. Happy to draw that card. Draw two more Thunder Drakes. And starting next turn, we can start going crazy. Draw a Thunder Drake for the next six turns. Alright. End the turn. <laughs> so now seeing that should give him a good idea that we have at least four of them. He's, he would see the echo triggers, not necessarily what we drew with it though. Transform a unit into a pig and then kill it. <laughs> That's like funny, it's like why make it a pig first? But I guess it gets rid of entomb effects. So it's not not worthless. It's a little bit funny though. Alright, we'll drop another one.
see if he has more answers than I have. Thunderstrike Dragons. He's got six cards in hand. I got four Thunderstrike Dragons in hand, which is fucking hilarious. Hmm. That is not an answer. Which is probably a good thing for us. It's nice that even the uh, vanilla 5-6-1s can block his impending doom. Flying. Whenever it attacks, you may discard a card and draw a higher cost card. That's interesting. Let's attack. And we'll drop another one. Because he really wants to discard a card and draw a higher cost card. Which, I mean, is probably the correct play. He discarded draw a unit from the void. Interesting. Alright, well I'll block. Anything else? Because I still got three more drakes to drop. I'm enjoying this shenanigans right here. Echo seems really strong. Let's get in there. He has to block or he's dead. And we'll drop another one. Got an answer? You gotta answer all three of them, really. <laughs> See what's in his graveyard. Looks like some sigils. Aegis guy lets him play things from the void. Herald's song. Dark return. And nothing even too exciting in here. Haunting scream. Play a unit with cost four or less from the void. Gets charged flying sack at the end of the turn. Alright. Double its attack and put it into your hand. Is he going to be able to cast it again? No? Alright, we'll just block this then. And we should be fine. Good game. All right, we got there. Uh, as you play, ooh, we are ranked. Starting from the bottom, I guess, with bronze three, I'm assuming is what this means. As you play ranked games, you'll gain and lose points based on your current matchmaking rating. When you reach 100 points, you level up to the next league. The better you get, the faster you'll be able to move up. Okay. And sure, we have like six of those now. We've reached bronze three in the ranked league. Can I like see just what the rankings are? Is that information anywhere? Ranked leagues. Mm. Okay, so the league lasts a month. And depending on, if I end in the current league, I get that stuff. So maybe it goes like bronze 3, silver 3, then like gold 3, and then it goes like bronze 2, silver 2, gold 2. Because it says my next rank is silver 3, which is interesting. But two premium packs either way. We just get an extra pack for being up in the next rank. Okay, that's interesting. Um, in draft, we got nothing. Match history, 4 and 1. Not bad for placements. 
Top 100. See if you can get an idea for what the rankings are here. Oh boy. Don't know what that symbol is. And everybody's in that. Sure. So it's not, it's not really helping us see what all the ranks are. I guess that's something I'll have to look up uh, on my own. Maybe go here. Oh, here we go. Okay. So bronze, silver, gold, diamond, master. Pretty much what you would expect. And we are starting in bronze three. And we have to get up to... Oh, okay. So we have to get up to silver three to get the next ones. So it's like bronze three, bronze two, bronze one. And then we'll get here for the next rewards. And we get up to gold. We get up here. So we go from two premium green, two premium green, to one premium blue, one premium green. So I guess blue is more rare than green. You get two blue, and you get one premium legend. Or, I'm just calling it a legend, but I don't know what it is. Alright, cool. I guess I could see that if I go here. No, here. Ah, right, there we go. Common, uncommon. Alright, so blues are rare. Legendaries are the yellow. Okay, makes sense. Uh, anyways, we'll wrap this episode up here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you guys are enjoying this game. I'm having a lot of fun with it so far, and I plan on playing it some more. So like, subscribe, enjoy the videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.